kept you waiting, huh? Here we are guys, we are on the third floor of Anime Boston, which is the gaming floor. It's the thing that everybody's been looking forward to. This is where bragging rights are earned, and the haters need to shut up because if you lose here, there ain't no there ain't no round twos. Check it out. So we're here at the uh, what the game room in the, the game room in Anime Boston, and I found this really cool game. And this guy was telling me about it. So let's find out more about it. So sir, uh, what is your name? Uh, I go by the name Daya or Xavier. Daya will be fine. That sounds great. All right. So I thought you were going for this game. So uh, what is what, 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 what is it all about? Um, basically these are uh, but uh, this takes place in the world of Gensokyo, uh, Toho Project, uh, and right now what you're seeing here is a game called Scarlet Weather Rhapsody. Yep. And right now these are what's playing. Uh, which is the fighting game series, uh, which one of them, these are the fighting game series. As you can see over there, he typically makes top-down shooter, uh, top-down shooter games. And basically you're different characters such as Reimu, and there's, <coughs> there's, uh, yeah, uh, uh, my, uh, my mind just blanked out all of a sudden. No, that's the username. These are usernames. Uh, and Sanaye, Cerno, uh, Marissa, and another Raymu. Alright, cool. I blanked out on uh, one of them. I was like, ah! That's a hell of a... So, yeah, so the best different variety of uh, characters. Yeah, very large variety of characters it, from, coming from different uh, the, the different games that Zune created. Zune is the creator, Z-U-N is the creator of the Toho series of games. Somebody might be interested in trying out one of these. Where would they be able to get themselves a copy of it? If you, uh, there's a various places online that you can get them from, such as um, the Amazon.jp site, if you can read Japanese. Otherwise, you can uh, get them at JList.com or uh, Hendene, uh, which is a booth downstairs at Anime Boston, and they do travel around. Uh, of course, uh, there is a website known as ShrineMaiden.org. Dot maiden.org where you can post up different questions on how to play the games or just generally about the fandom which is very exhaustive at least the biggest things that uh, draw a lot of people is such things as the art the characters the music some of them look familiar to me because I've seen I think I've seen a couple of the videos yeah. that they've made yeah. yeah a lot of a lot of people in Japan have created a lot of different fan art because the biggest thing that Zune does Aside from commercial games, he, 
pretty much allows people to make fan art, remixes of the music, all kinds, even fan games. So me and Ben are going to try out some of this right now. We'll probably get some footage of that. Hey, thanks again for all the information, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, man. Thank you. These things, like, they're not grounded to the ground. It's really cool. And then they're going to be like, air cover. Alright, so we found the most bumping place in Anime Boston right now, and we found somebody that can help me out with what, what's going on here. So, uh, what is your name, ma'am? Kanisha. My name is Kanisha. Hi, Kanisha. Um, and what are you guys selling here right now? Um, right now we're selling, um, like, flashing t-shirts that lights up, also hoodies, accessories, like bows, bow ties, anything that, you know, flashes up for raid parties, you know, any type of party there is. So, so it lights up with any sound, like a loud sound? Uh, sensitive to sound so if you're around loud music you're clapping stomping screaming whatever makes you happy yeah and how do they um, how do they run exactly they run by AAA batteries pretty simple easy and you just connect it by to a battery charge um compatible that's in the shirt and that's it simple. so let's say somebody a sad person out there right now who, who's not here wants to get one of these things where can they go to get one um you can check out online is at e e m f Stores.com. And everything's there, right? All those Every, stuff. Are um, there's a few that's there, but if you want in particular, you can just send an email and they ship it to you for free. There you go. So this place has some awesome stuff to it. It looks really cool. And we'll come back with another one. I, I just bumped into a good friend of mine that I met last year. This is Rick. Rick, how you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing great. How you doing, man? I'm doing all right too, man. It's Anime Boston, man. So last year we talked a little bit, and you told me that you were an admin. At the cutting room floor. Yes. Now, for people who don't know what that is, uh, why don't you give them a quick summary? Like, what is the cutting room floor? Well, the cutting room floor is a website wiki that documents unused things in video games, like unused graphics, music, things of that, even more things of that sort. Um, developers' modes, like debug modes, um, prototypes of games, uh, regional differences between games, like U.S., European, Japan, Japanese versions. Pretty much any kind of awesome, really cool trivia or added that you can think of, it's there. And it's always being updated. So just because the game you want's not there today doesn't mean it might not be there tomorrow next week. And, of course, and like you said, this is uh, like things that aren't usually put into video games. So this is definitely a place for gamers. Oh, yes, indeed. This is def definitely, if you want to get into the nitty-gritty of stuff, it's kind of like the things they don't want you to see or know about most of the time. Or it's things that are generally not even common knowledge a lot of the time. Uh, TCRF.net is the website, and even even if you don't know anything about that, it's a great read. It's just about as addictive as TV tropes. Cool. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll put a link in the, in the comments for the, the, the site so that way people know where it's at. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, thanks again, man. I appreciate hey, it. Hey, you're welcome. Hey, if I can, actually, I can, give, I can even give a little uh, interesting tidbit now. Sure. Okay, for, the, okay, for those who are watching, it's rare, but it's possible for there to be even developer rants in the games will rant about their co-workers, expecting it to never be found. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. There's one in the game, Hachikom. There's another in Iron Tank. But the, but the greatest one has to do with the new Tetris for N64. Because one of the programs really got eaten after Nintendo. And just put it all in there, thinking that it would never be found for years, if at all. The problem is, it took people only three days.
ways to find it and post it on the internet. Needless to say, he got into some pretty deep for hot water with that one. All the information can be found on the cutting room floor. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, indeed. That and more. Alright, cool. Thank you very much. Hey, check out the site, cutting room floor. We're gonna put it up on the in the comments section, well, not comments, the, uh, the description, and we'll check it out from there, right? My buddy Key tried camping on top of a building once. He was shooting crows, but the police were too busy tear gassing him to ask what he was doing up there. He screamed for an entire year every single time he opened his eyes. <laughs> oh, man. See, at first it was funny. Then it just got sad. But then it got funny again. <laughs> oh, man. What? We don't got time for this? Oh, okay. So here at Anime Boston, and I found somebody really cool, and I want to have a quick interview with him, right? So, sir, uh, what is your name, sir? My name is Alan Evans. Uh, Alan, um, uh, I saw you here earlier, you know, uh, yesterday, and I saw you had this thing called Rival Angels. Uh, can you tell everybody that's watching, uh, what is Rival Angels about? Rival Angels is the number one wrestling web comic. It's a story about four girls, one dream, to be the best in the world. So, um... And as you see here, we have some stuff here, like, you know, different combos and stuff like that. So let's say uh, somebody out there may be interested, but, you know, they're not here in Anime Boston. Um, how, how would they be able to obtain some of these different uh, collections? You can get Rival Angels wherever books are sold, Amazon, uh, Barnes & Noble, or you can go to my site at rivalangels.com. So then we'll put that in the, we'll put that in the you know, the information, and we'll have them there, and we'll check it out, right? Hey, anyway, we can maybe get a couple of our guys in there, maybe? I think we could work in a, a cameo or two. That sounds cool. That sounds cool. All right. Well, hey, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So we have some really cool video game related merchandise here that we want to let you know about. All right. So let's talk to these nice ladies here. Ladies, uh, what are your names? Hi. I'm Sarah. I'm Ryan. I'm also called the Mad Scientist. <laughs> so uh, what do you guys? What's all this awesome stuff that we have here? So we uh, we have two sections of the shop. We have Mad Scientist Lab and Decoy's Dork Decor. Um, we sell custom-made apparel and custom-made glass and vinyl. We'll have to do like the what you guys are selling or something like that. And how long have you guys been doing this like this store? So I've almost been doing mine five years. Um, I've been working with Heather, the woman who owns the store, for about a year now, but she's been doing it for at least three years. Wow, so like a long time. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. All right, now, obviously, the question that they're probably going to be asking about this is, if they're not here right now, where can you get this stuff? So all of our stuff, custom or standard, oops, wrong card, is available <laughs> at Mad Scientist Lab. It's madlabcoats.com. Madlabcoats.com. Yes. Yes. And where can they get some of these glasses? Um, if you're not here, you should be, number one. Um, but you can get the glasses. We have a store envy. It's called Decoys Dark Decor. And we also have a website, decoysdarkdecor.com. Yeah, we actually used one of the glasses in our first episode. I think... I think... No, no. No, uh, I think uh, Ben had a uh, Bowser Stein. And he had red fruit punch in it. What was it, Gatorade? Which one was it? Hey, yeah, he said it was Gatorade. My cameraman knows for sure. Yeah, so, so now we need to get some lab coats, and then we can start doing some science stuff. It'll be a lot of fun. Hey, thank you again for your time, you guys. Yeah, thank you. I hope we see you again next year. We'll get some more stuff from you guys. <laughs> okay, so we found another dealer at Enemy Boston. Uh, gentlemen, what are your names? Mark. David. Hey, can you describe what you're selling today? Ocarinas. And it's, uh, this is a double. Zelda double. I'm selling for Ocarinas. Now, is that porcelain or what? It is. Based in uh, LA, uh, we have a workshop. Um, they, we actually hand make all of these, um, and our website you can buy them online, songbirdocarina.com. Um, yep. Anything else there? Yeah, uh, we've been making them since about 1989. Our, our boss, uh, Darian Songbird, he, he's he's uh, he's based out of Los Angeles. He's been making them for fun, and then Zelda came along and just kind of exploded the ocarina scene, so he, he made a really smart move of jumping on the bandwagon and started making Zelda replicas and anything related to Zelda, uh, which we also make other kinds as well, like uh, I'm wearing two Zelda ones here, uh, but we also make them um, uh, out of plastic, so like this is a plastic version here, um, it plays a lot of the same stuff songs as from Zelda, but we make them from like um, here, different shapes, different sizes, uh, different ranges, so uh, even if you're not into Zelda, like you, you, there's plenty of different offerings that you, most people would probably like. 
And uh, have you got anything that could um, show people how to play these? Yes, we actually have uh, these songbooks here that teach people different um, songs from different types of video games, different movies, TV shows, um, old folk songs, and we actually post videos online that show people how to play their different types of games as well. Uh, what, so that's on YouTube? or uh, YouTube.com slash SlumberDocArena is our channel. So we've met up with another dealer here at Anime Boston. Uh, can you tell everyone your name, please? Hi, my name is Saki. Hello. Um, and what, what are you selling here today? Today I'm selling plushies and some drawings. And I also sell my stock book, which is Senshi Stock on DeviantArt.com, as well as a USB drive. Right, can you tell us anything about these? Sure. Um, so the stock poses are references of people in underwear and bodysuits for drawing. And the plushies are just really cute, adorable, fun little things. I also make hair bows. And um, is any um, for anyone anyone who's not at the convention today, where would we be able to buy these? Um, you can go to animeplushie.com, and also I'm on DeviantArt as Sakisa, S A K K A S A. And I would would it be safe to assume that you like video games as well. I am a big fan of watching people play video games, and my husband made a game. It's called Pombi Song. You guys can check it out. It's available on iOS and Android, and you can download it right now. And it's a really fun game um, where there's cute little zombies and you have a saw blade and two paddles and it goes back and forth and you kill them in cute, adorable blood splash. <laughs> I, I, I would actually buy an Android tablet probably just for that. It's a really fun, addictive game. <laughs> it gets really hard in the later levels. They're spawning really fast and you're like, ah! So it's like, like these days we see like, we see like a lot of games with zombies, but you've actually done something different. Yeah. With yeah, he really worked really hard on the mechanic to make it fun and it's something that anybody can pick up and play easily, so I think you did a great job. My husband made it. <laughs> I helped. <laughs> you want to plug your site one more time? Uh, sure, it's animeplushie.com. All right, so we've got one more uh, artist here at Anime Boston to show you guys today. Uh, can you tell everyone your name, please? Hi, I'm Aradia from Coventry Decor. Right, and what is it that you're selling? We make etched barware for geeks, and we just introduced vinyl decals this weekend. It's hazard etched glassing and, sorry, etched... <laughs> Acid etched glassware and hand engraved glasses. Right, so I see it, like all, I see all kinds of designs. You have um, various gaming designs, sci-fi, um, Mario, Pokemon, Star Wars, all kinds of stuff. Yes, I do. We actually will make anything you want. I do tend to focus more on fandom than anything else because I'm a huge, big nerd, and we love we love fandom stuff. And um, where could they buy these? If any, for anyone who's not here today. You can find us on CoventryDecor.etsy.com. Another Etsy shop. Go support those guys. They do a lot of great work. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, so that's the end of Anime Boston. Thanks for watching, guys. We have a lot of more content coming out. So, Miguel, how, so how do you feel about the weekend so far? My Today, feet, rather. My feet are killing me, but it was a lot of fun. I'm glad we got everybody out here to have some fun recording. And like, like, just like Ben said, we have a lot more content on the way. So... This is going to be the end of this video, but we're going to have a lot more very soon. So, but until until the next video, I'm Ben. I'm Miguel. Let's go play some games. It's time to get us some noobs.